200 years ago, a British scientist Alfred Russell Wallace was exploring oceans in the Malay archipelago. He noticed a striking contrast. The animal species in some islands resemble those in mainland Southeast Asia, while in other islands, they seem to have more in common with animals in Australia. Wallace in his wisdom, drew an imaginary line to separate these distinct regions, a line now known as the Wallace Line. In places like Bali and Lombok, a mere distance of 20 kilometers or 12 miles separate these wildly different worlds. What could explain this sudden change in biodiversity? On the Asian side of this line, the biodiversity is truly remarkable. Here you can find the majestic Asian elephant, the rare Javan rhinoceros, and the elusive Sumatran tiger. The forests are filled with Borneo leopards, a variety of monkeys, and the charismatic orangutans of Sumatra and Borneo. The avian life is just as diverse with species like frogmouths and woodpeckers. The plant life too boasts Asian-specific varieties, and some unique plants like Rafflesia, the world's largest flower. Conversely, on the Australian side of the Wallace line, the biodiversity takes a different turn. Here, the marsupial wonders like kangaroos, monotremes like platypus and echidna and koala, while the spectacular birds of paradise and white cockatoos fill the sky, majestic emu roam the land. The exclusive plants, including eucalyptus trees, acacias, further underline the Australian character of this region. Later, another line was proposed, Weber's line, which marks the difference between species in Australia and Papua New Guinea from those in Southeast Asia. Between these two lines is a transitional zone, often referred to as Wallacea. Unique species have evolved in isolation. Here you'll find the awe-inspiring Komodo dragon, the fascinating Roti Island snake-neck turtle, the elusive Anoas, and the peculiar Babirusa. Despite their geographical proximity, the flora and fauna on the west of this line are closer to Asia, while those on the east are towards Australia, so close it's so different. Why does this line separate kangaroos and tigers? The answer lies millions of years in the past, with the supercontinent Pangaea. As this landmass broke apart and drifted, the continents we know today were formed. The Australian plate, once part of Pangaea, has been slowly moving closer to the Asian plate. For many millennia, the plants and animals in Australia plate evolved independently, resulting in distinct evolutionary paths. Wallacea is where these two plates are coming together.